Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial we are going to talk about the auto wiring by type. So let's go ahead and create a Java project in Eclipse. So rather creating a new project I would like to refer my uh, existing example which we had done in previous session. So uh, I had created this project in previous example so I would copy this project and paste it in this same workspace I would give the name a spring auto wire by type click on the ok so auto wire by type so close this project and auto wire by type let me show you this project what is all about so here is one entity uh, class which contains some value type properties and one property has a pan card type this is a custom data type and pan card is another bin which contains two fields and corresponding public setter getter methods these two bins i have configured in xml file so first bin we have a employee and second bin pan card and uh, as i shown you pan card uh, this pan card is declared in, inside the employee so here pan card in employee bin I haven't uh, injected explicitly so I have enabled auto wiring auto wiring by name so whenever I mean uh, employee will be instantiated at that time container container will see that this name I mean pan card and from this name in container a spring container will search the bin in the configuration file so this is here so this will automatically inject it okay so this way auto wire by name works but here now we are going to choose auto wire by type so if i run the client program for this in client program just we are getting this employee object and trying to print the employee information as well as corresponding pan card information so if i run this then this is working very fine so what's the difference between auto wire by type and auto wire by name so let me show you so here pan card has a one copy one bin so i'm going to declare another bin and i'm going to give two pan card two now if i run this application then you will end up with an exception so let me show you so another java application and you end up with an exception saying that uh, unsatisfied dependency expressed through bin property pan card no qualifying bin of type com.infotech.model.pan card is defined expected single matching bin but found to pan card and pan card 2 if you are specifying auto wiring auto wire as by type then spring is expecting only one copy of pan card but we have a specified two copy of pan card so a spring is getting confused so auto wire by type a spring basically will look the this uh, i mean uh, this pan card and that will take the type of this pan card variable so this is pan card and if you a spring is look into the configuration file then this there are two pan card uh, bins are configured here so spring is getting confused which bin has to wire in that case a spring is throwing an, an exception but if you give the auto wire by name then of course if I run then a spring is successfully injecting this bin right because in this case a spring will take the need this name and from this name a spring will search into the configuration file and a spring finally will find this bin with the, that name and a spring successfully wires so if you are going for the option by type then make sure that only one copy of pan card only one copy of pan card you are going to declare in the configuration file now suppose if i give the name like one and two so what do you think by name is gonna work no because a spring here we have given the variable name as pan card 
but there is no bin with pan card right so here pan card one so in this case you will get an exception so let me show you right so only you got the i mean employee information but uh, pan card is not injected so in that case pan card is getting null so i have checked not, not null so we are not uh, this is null so this statement is getting skipped so let me show you now i'm going to delete it and here i have given the pan card one and in employee pan card and xml auto wire by name so definitely pan card is not going to inject right but i don't want to make any change in the configuration file still i want this code should work pan card should be injected into employee at runtime then what should i do so here instead of by name you need to specify by type right by type so if i run this application now so see here pan card is getting injected oh, why so because if you specify auto wire by type then a spring will not look into this id name of this bin even though this here we have specified the id pan card but here property name we have a pan card but only a spring will look into the data type data type is pan card and from this data type there is only one bin we have configured over here that's why in this case auto wire by type works so i do hope you guys understood what is the difference between auto wire by type and by name and where uh, we should use what so that's all i have in this video guys if you like my video please like and subscribe it thank you for watching my video and see you in next video session thank you